the Duke of York Stakes will kick off day two on the level then it's a six furlong group two and the top one is Baron Tevella for Darren Thompson Debilitis Jim Murray Get High Leon Van Rensburg Night Owl and Oxted for David Hooley Shapeshifter for Craig Allen The Wolfpack Joshua Sutherland Achieve Victory Leon Van Rensburg Optimistic Affair Craig Beckwith Ozark Squeak Vinny Gerard Back and Forth Craig Allen Concilium Jim Murray Geldo Darren Thompson Inverted Rod McLeod Professor Rhodes Paul Rhodes Aldora Charing and Bell Tower for David Robertson Imping Dynatrix for Vinnie Gerard and a Spectrum of Light for Paul Rhodes. So 19 of them then in this six furlong sprint and all installed in the rain. And where they go and away they go. A little bit slow out Bell Tower, but on this near side, like a Chief Victory or Get High, I think it was Get High was quickly out. And then uh, looking for a racing room, and Leon Van Rinsburg got one on each side of the track just to make my life even more difficult. And I think down on this near side is a Chief Victory just in front, right over on the far side spectrum of light. He's got a share of the lead. Ozark Squeak is next. Concilium down this side is close, so to his shape shift of the grey. Closest to us is Bell Tower, but it's now just a bad in front concilium for Jim Murray being pressed by shapeshifter in the hoops then on this near side is achieve victory but inside the final two and a half furlongs now right over on the rail side spectrum of light might be challenging for the lead down on this near side shapeshifter back and forth is also there as well as plenty of chances Geldo and Baron Tevella right over on that far rail are trying to get going as well but now Ozark Squeak sees daylight and Ozark Squeak for Vinnie Gerard's hit the front concilium at the centre of the track throwing down a big challenge though and then to debility just achieve victory, still trying to get going as well. Ozark squeak inside the final half furlong is about a neck up and down on this near side. Imping Dominatrix, he's got one on the side of the track. Vinny Gerard, one of them's one, but I don't know which one. And it really is difficult sometimes. You've <laughs> got one on the side of the track. It's difficult to pick out which one's which when the horses can sometimes look similar. But it's Imping Dominatrix, I think, that's taken it, which I think is the one down on this near side. Ozark squeak over on the far side, second. It is, it's Mping Dominatrix for Vinnie Gerard, who takes it. Ozark Squeak for the same trainer second, Concilium Jim Murray third, and David Hooney was fourth and fifth with Night Owl and Oxted, who probably neither got a mention in, a ra in the race at all, as they all finished pretty quickly.